as I transitioned to living overseas, uh, a VPN was absolutely critical to protect my data and, uh, more importantly, to be able to watch streaming uh, TV in the United States that is restricted in some countries. So I began to look at VPN services and Nord, Nord, N-O-R-D, came up as first and foremost on my list. So I went ahead and purchased Nord uh, VPN and with it comes many very complimentary and nice products, one of which I'm going to talk about today, which is Nord Locker. So as you're preparing, uh, especially this time of year for the U.S. citizens that are preparing for tax season, what a great place to be able to store and share information using a secure location. Now, I, you have to look it up and do the research yourself. When I look up is Nord safe, you read through PC Magazine, you read through all these other folks. Some people complain about the usability of the product, but um, I have not found it to be a real challenge. And But it's very secure. If I'm going to trust somebody with security, it's going to be somebody who does VPNs for a living. So let's go ahead and jump right into Nord. So to begin with, you're going to want to go to Nord Locker and download their product. Once you get it downloaded, you're going to be able to begin to start using it. And we're going to go ahead. Now, it is complementary here to their product called Nord VPN. Okay. So I happen to be connected right now in Germany, um, but I could connect to the U.S. pretty easily. And um, it, it's very simple to use. So if you don't use Nord VPN, I would suggest that you look at using NordVPN as well, but let's just focus on NordLocker. So here's NordLocker, um, and let's go ahead and crack it open and see what it looks like. You can see here several of the Nord products. I do really like um, Nord Pass as well. We'll do another video on that, but let's go and just click on NordLocker there and get it to open up for us. So it'll open up. It may prompt you for your Nord VPN information. Here it's going to set up and immediately it's going to ask for my encryption key. Now I've gone ahead and entered in my key and I'm just going to hit unlock. Now you can see some of my lockers. Nord lockers built on lockers. So these are areas where we would put information. For example, I may want to share information with EMG. So I'm just going to put it in a locker called EMG. I may have some archives or investments, personal taxes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So all of this can be used to create what Nord calls a locker. And it's very simple to use. Let's go ahead and open up some files and drag some new files over there. So let's say that I wanted to encrypt this information here. Now, notice here I've got multiple file types in here. This is a book that you can get on, on uh, Gumroad. But here, let's just this one, and we're going to just encrypt this. So here we want to drag this PDF. So we're just going to drag the PDF. We're going to drop it right inside of Christmas. And so do we want to create a copy of it, or do we want to move it? And I really like this feature because... It'll take whatever information that I have deemed needs to be encrypted and remove it from my hard drive. But in this time, I'm just going to say copy. And now it's going to encrypt that information. Now, it is important to note, if this was secure information in this folder for, as an example, this PDF file, and I wanted to truly delete it, I'm going to want to get some, and you're going to have to see some other um I know it's not popping up right away, but I have some other type of programs to delete. You have to look at other videos I have on my channel to truly delete a file. But let's just say that this is fine. We're just going to make a copy of it and we're going to put it over here. And we can do that with any one of these files, right? This happens to be an image file we're going to copy over. And then this is a Word document that we're going to copy over. So you can see that all of them sit in here natively. Um, within the environment. Now notice how that one is synchronizing. These, this data is sitting on my local drive with the encryption that I have. So even 
when it goes up to Nord Locker. It's encrypted with encryption that I have put on it. Very, very tight encryption. In fact, some of the tightest in the industry to lock and secure files. Remember, they're a VPN company, right? So it's in their best interest to be very secure. And so all of this information is kind of going up there as encrypted. They don't know any of my passwords ever for any of this content. And so I keep it. And when it goes from here, from my local drive, when it syncs up there, it's syncing as an encrypted file. So they, even at Nord, if somebody would break into Nord, they couldn't get to my data. They would have to know each one of those encryption keys that has been set up by Nord in this relationship I'm having with Nord between my local hard drive and their servers. So I, I guess what I'm saying is it's very secure. It's very secure. So let's go ahead and before we end here, let's go ahead and talk about sharing this locker. So sharing this locker is, is very simple. So let's say, for example, let's say that one of these files had some social security information in it or PII, right? Personal information that I needed to share with somebody. I don't know who, but let's just say you need to share. I don't know. You're buying a house and you're doing everything electronically and they want uh, your social security number and some other very highly sensitive and private information, bank information, things of that nature. And they're asking for it. Well, you can just tell them it's going to be sitting in my Nord locker and I'm going to share it with you. So to share it, you're going to just do a right click here and you're going to say share locker. And when you say that, you're going to invite people to that locker. Now you can add people to this locker or you can just share via a link. Now, when you share during a link, let's just go ahead and generate this link. So we're going to generate this link, and this is going to be my security code right here. So here's my link, and here's my security code. Let's go ahead and open another browser. Remember, in Chrome, if you set up multiple profiles, I have a video on this, but if you set up multiple profiles, they'll act independently. So I'm going to go ahead and open this browser up just so you can kind of see how this all works together. Okay, so let's see if I can move it. Oh, good. Excellent. Okay, so remember, we're sharing this data, these three files here. So let's go ahead and first notice here that it expires this on February 3rd, which is two weeks from now. We're going to click on this. The link has been copied. And now we're just going to paste that right inside of here. Now, because I'm using a different browser instance within Chrome, it's not going to validate or use any of my credentials that I currently have for NordLocker. So you can see here, this is the exact experience that somebody else will, will have. They'll receive the URL that you send them, and it'll say, this has been locked. Now, I'm going to put, and you're going to need to give them the security code. So... If you're going to be sharing this information with others, you want to share the link on one email message and then maybe text them the code, but don't reference what that code is for, right? Maybe call them and say, hey, I'm going to send you a code, what have you, okay? And then you're going to copy the code over because if you share the code and the email link all at once, it's not overly secure. I'm going to paste in the code and you can see here it matches and then I'm going to say I've read that and I'm going to hit continue. And as soon as you do that, it's going to pop open and it's going to give me these three files. And as you can see, the three files are right there. It's very easy to use. I'm going to down, I can download them all. Notice it tells me when it's going to expire. I can download one or I can download them all. So let's just say I want to open up this guy here. I can't open it, by the way. I have to download it, but I'm going to download it. And then now it's downloaded. If I look here, and just click on that file now you can see um, the content of that file that has been downloaded so this is a really cool tool it really is so that's i guess all that i have now if we want to delete this so that nobody else can have access and stop sharing we can just hit delete link okay so before we do that i'm going to recopy the link just so you know that it actually does delete the link we're going to delete it Okay, now let's go ahead and go into 
Nord here, and we're going to paste that link one more time, and we're going to see what it does. Now it's going to ask me for a code. I'm going to put in DJ DHJKI, and I'm going to say yes. I got it. I'm going to hit continue. Now remember, this has been cached, so we've already been here once on this browser. So you think, hey, I should be able to get back to it. The reality is now you can't because the locker is no longer available and the code will no longer work. So very secure, very easy to use. When I get done, I can just delete files if I want from here, just like I would in any experience, right? I can delete them. I can then delete it, just resynced. I can delete the folder, the locker as well. And I also, uh, notice here I'm only using that much of my, um, of my capacity 0.1 percent uh, so you have a, it's a lot of capacity i can't remember how much they give you three gigabytes for free for the free account now i happen to have a paid account i have one terabyte of data that i can store here so um, there's a lot of features in here i'm not going to go over in this video because it's running a little long but that's an introduction to nord locker and sharing secure data with other people